Skadoosh! What a crazy weekend it has been. Pre-release has been nuts. We're finding out a lot about these new cards. What's hot, what's not. Uh, there was a blizzard that came through in, uh, in my area. I'm up in Cleveland, Ohio. So I don't know if you guys went through that, but man, it was nutty. There was, a, I'd say at least oh, about a close to two feet of snow <clears throat> that fell in my area. Uh, I wonder how many other people were affected by that. But man, I was digging my car out from my, uh, my girlfriend's house this entire morning. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised we got out of the driveway. Getting back up the driveway later on is going to be another battle. Uh, considering we had to use shovels, you know, we don't have uh, the good old power uh, power plowers. You know what I'm saying? The power power plowers. Power. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, I had a wedding last night. My cousin got married. Congrats to him. It was quite um, the celebration. That's why I was not live on Twitch. Um, I will be live on Twitch tomorrow night, though, for sure. And we will be experimenting with all these new cards and having a heck of a lot of fun. I already got a new deck built I put together. It's looking phenomenal uh, using a good old Orzov here, black and white. Uh, also, shout outs to Ireland Pengile, James Bailey, Weston Popper. Popper, I'm sorry, Rampage of the Clans. That's bulk of the clans to me. Uh, a Simic Guildgate rat there. Uh, I'm sorry, Weston Roper, Down Under MTG, Philip Sears. James Nimigian. Why can't I ever say that? James Nimigian. Uh, Christian W. Calvert. Joe Ward. David Bulls. And uh, a, a few more. Uh, give me just one second here. We got Gate Colossus up in here. Clear the Stage. Uh, Collision and Colossals. And Verse Circle. Not doing too hot this box just yet. Uh, hoping to heat things up here. Uh, Bradley Roll. Jim Ludwig, Matthew LaBelle, Willie Beasley, Rich Van Otta, Adam Storm, Brian Stanley, Devin Heyer, Richard Price, and Chad Erickson. Appreciate you guys, all your support for this channel. That makes bad boy gaming possible. Gutter Bones, more like Gutter Balk. We are off to the Balk races here. Have you been a victim of Balk lately? Have your feelings been hurt by Balk? If so... The attorneys here at Bad Boy Gaming would like to hear about it and help your claim. Pitiless Pontiff, Spire, Clay and Guild Mage, Priest of Forgotten Possible Bulk. Priest of for Will he become Priest of Forgotten Bulk? I don't know. It's one card I thought may go up in price. I guess we all got to see what happens. It so far has gone down a little bit since its release. That, uh, that much we know is certain so far. Clamor Shaman. Man, the artwork's really come a long way on this set. The Skyguard, Hero of Precinct 1. I want to say Precinct 6. <laughs> Man, four uh, not-so-hot rares pulled thus far. I think it's time we step it up here a bit. Maybe pull uh, a big old... Ooh, that's not bad. That's not a bad guy right there. That's not bad. Light up the stage, the flame. Spawn of Mayhem steps it up. That's the second one we pulled. One was from a pre-release kit. That, as you guys know, is a really hot card. It's got the Spectacle 3, Flying and Trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, Spawn of Mayhem deals one damage to each player. Then if you have 10 or less life, put a plus one, plus one counter on Spawn of Mayhem. Really neat, interesting card. Definitely one you, you hope on pulling from this set. Very powerful. You can cast it for a 3. It's just nuts. As long as you dealt, uh, your opponent was dealt some kind of damage or lost life or whatever this, uh, the past turn. Uh, what else we got? Rally to Battle, Sunder Shaman, and a Hallowed Fountain. All right, cool. For the Azorius. Oh, a second one of these. We pulled uh, We pulled one yesterday. Uh, Smothering Tithy. The old Smothering Tithy. Not bad. That card has been doing pretty well. At the game momentum, it actually has gone up in value. So if you're pulling those, you're doing pretty good there. Not bad. Growth Spiral is a cool card. And for our uncommons, Biogenic, the Cry, the Cates, the Tome of the Guild Pact. There's that. Good old Tomey. The Ooze token. Those Ooze decks are going to be fun. You just got to protect your uh, your Ooze Captain. That's really about it. Protect your Ooze Captain and you'll go far, guys. Frilled Mystic. Bankrupt in Blood. Again, love the artwork on that. Scrambling Claws. Plaza of Harmony. And a uh, Foil Simic Locket. Simic. As I said, uh, some people um, have uh, have argued they did all right with um, with Simic and with Azorius in 
pre-release, but I mean, from what I experienced, uh, it, it was pretty dominant with um, Rakdos blending in one additional color, Rhythm of the Wild's a nasty card, and uh, Orzov, and oh, another Priest of Forgotten, and also with, uh, what's the other guy, we got Orzov, Azorius, Rakdos, Simic, Simic did uh, okay, uh, not as good though as what I what people were expecting. Um, the real hot one was Gruel. If you got Gruel, you uh, were doing phenomenal. Well, this Reclamation is another good one. Wow, Scargan Hellkite. This card definitely surprised me. I was wrong about it. It is more powerful than a lot of us expected. Uh, when in when in combination with other cards, it, it really uh, gets uh, gets out of control quick. You got to kill that thing, otherwise you are in for it. That thing will kick your butt if you don't have an answer for it. We got the Clear the Stage, Regenesis, Orzov Enforcer, another Tome of the Guild Pack. What's up with these duplicates? So many duplicates. I'm happy um, with our Mythics, though. We're pulling the top Mythics out of here. But our Rare Slot, our Rare Slot's just looking kind of dumpy. It is looking kind of dumpy. Uh, all right, Screaming Shield. The Drake, and the Trader, uh, Pestilence Spirits. All right. Damn, I can't believe how much snow we had, though. That's still hard to get over. I mean, I, I do live in Cleveland, so I expect a lot of snow, but <clears throat> it, was, it came out of nowhere. They gave us a warning, like, 12 hours in advance. Hey, you're in for it. It's going to be a crazy uh, snowstorm blizzard coming your way. And we're like, all right, cool. And then it hit, and everyone's like, oh, my gosh. Uh, Kaya's Wrath, great card. Um, that will be, that's one card I'll have in the deck. Pretty solid for my... Uh, my Orzov plan. Football's on this weekend. Uh, the final two matches, the final two uh, games to determine a Super Bowl, who's going to be in it. That's pretty cool. The drill bit. A Benthid. The mesmerizing Benthid. All right, so we have three Mythics already. Three Mythics. I'd say that's pretty fair. We're doing pretty fair for a Mythic slot. I keep noticing one of these cards always has like a little ding on it. You see that? Seems like one card in every single pack has one little ding on it. It's weird. Growth Chamber Guardian, that's not bad for a rare. I'm going to take it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's causing that. I'm opening carefully. Let's see if this one's affected by it. This one, no, not affected. Light up the stage. The Knight of Last Rebirth. Tower Defense. Glass of the Guild Pact. Multicolored creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Oh, a second one of these Zorta goblins that we pulled. Not bad. Pulled two of those foils now. I think one was in a kit. One was in a pack, whatever you call it. They always like to change the name on us, you know. It went from, like, fat pack to bundle. Then it went from pre-release kit to pre-release pack. Like, what's the point? Did, was someone offended by the word kit? I, I bet someone was offended by the word kit, you know. I, 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 somewhere, some, somehow, someone was affected by the word kit. That's not a, you can't call it a guild kit. That's terrible. I'm offended by that. You know, like, come on, really? Trollbred Guardian, the Clan Crusher, Flames, Electro Dominance. This is a really, wow, friggin' case hit emergency powers. Nice. Got the case hit. Gorgeous card, gorgeous card. Look at that. Get a load of that. It's got all the auras and energy and everything you want running around it. That is sweet. We got the freaking case hit. Bada ba ba skadoosh. I'm digging it. That's a big hit. That is a big hit. Probably not the most expensive mythic out there until something pops off with it, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I light up the stage. Another one of these guys I've seen too many of. Immolation Shaman, followed by a Watchful Giant Foil. Wow, so a case hit mythic. And we have already pulled the emergency powers, but now we pulled the foil. I must say, I got the power. I'm feeling the power. Syndicate. Mortify. Mortify. What was your guys' best pull this weekend? What was the best card you pulled? Or not even this weekend. What was the best card you pulled, period? Let me know about that in the comments. Uh, what card you get really excited about when you pulled it? Whether it's from a kit, a box, a bundle, whatever the case may be. I think bundles don't come out for another week, though. I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me. I think bundles are a little behind for whatever reason. Incubation Druid, pretty cool card. Good old Simic. Watch out, man. Those Simic brews are coming through. 
They are gonna devastate. They are gonna. What else? Let's see. We have Mr. Saratok. Okay. Spirit, the Mangler, and a Sphinx of Foreskin. All right. That's different. Where did they put that on a card, huh? Sphinx of Foreskin. I don't get it. I mean, it's fun, I guess. We got the old score mark. See, look, two of these now. Right up in the corner. Ding and Dong. They, oh, they have a, the, the old Ding Dong right here. Back to back, those two dots right there. That is not good. That is not good. Wilderness Reclamation, sweet. Ethereal Absolution, pretty cool card. I have to say, this box <coughs> has been pretty phenomenal. This box has been above average. Yep, she said that. She said this box was above average. The Gruel Beastmaster. Priest of Forgotten Gods. I wish I didn't get so many duplicates, though. Why are you so many duplicates? That's like the third. That's the third? Is that the third Priest of Forgotten Gods in one box? The third of its kind. That's insane. We got the uh, Trollbred Guardian, the Mark, Enforcer, Seraph of the Scales. Wow. We definitely pulled the good mythics out of this box for sure. Pulled a foil of her promo card. That was pretty sweet. And we got two tokens in that one. An ooze and a spirit token in one box. Is that common? That's weird. I don't I haven't been paying attention to that. But we pulled two and one. I don't know. I don't That was weird. I don't recall ever pulling two tokens in one unless I'm just out of my mind and accidentally held on to one there. I don't know. But this box again, these two marks imprinted on each one of these. These are uncommons too. So already my, my cards are coming out with damage on them. Gruel Spellbreaker is pretty cool. I'm really not liking that, Wizards. I honestly am not happy with that. That is bad card quality right there. If uh, every card has this little bump on it. We have final payment. Solana, a Wayfinder. The Clamor, the Fireblade, the Thrash and Threat with, oh wow, a Foil Growth Chamber Guardian. Oh my God, this box is good. This box is really good. Uh, really, really good. I've been hearing a lot of people say they're only getting two Shocklands out of their boxes, and that's it. Everyone's saying, yeah, I see whoever opens a box, you get two Shocklands. No more, no less, that's it. Ooh, nice. The Bed Evil. Evil Bed right there, we call it. That's Evil Bed. Another solid hit. If you've been a victim of the two Shocklands per box, let me know. Um, I'd like to hear from you. Zur Ta Goblin. We're going to call it the T Goblin. He's a T, he's a T player. Tesa Karlov. Nice. We'll take that. So we're looking for one more Shockland. I'm assuming we'll get out of here. Because that's the growing rate. Everyone's talking about it. Two Shocklands, no more. There it is again. Another damaged Watsi Uncommon. Clamor Shaman. The Frilled Mystic with the damage up in the top left yet again. Not liking that. Ravager Worm. Wow. Ravager Worm's pretty cool. I think that card went slightly up in value. Well, that one opened really easy. I don't know if anyone else noticed that. That thing just fell apart. Like the glue wasn't working for it. Uh, these ones damage too? I'm not seeing too much. Gates ablaze. Kaya Orzov. Wow. What a box though. Nonetheless. Oh my gosh, what a Sage's Rose of Vine. What a box. This box is stupid good. Yeah, with quality control, I don't know how those, those, those packs are getting out there. Where you got two little dots in the top left corner. I mean, that, that's instant damage, guys. Not, not too thrilled about that. I am thrilled about the pools. I think we did pretty darn good in here. I, I can't complain too much at all. There it is again, tiny little dot right there. Every single one, mass manipulation for our rare. That thing went to ultimate bulk really quick. I think they should have had maybe three blue. I think three blue would have been okay. But four blue might have been a little too much for that card to ever see actual play outside of like Commander or something. The Wayfinder, Swirling Torrent, Syndicate, and the Warrant Warden. All right. Oh, wow, foil rare and a foil mythic in a box. Pretty good. I will take that all day. I will take that all day. And we got the Mortify, uh, Zorius, the Regenesis. Uh, 
I'm never really a fan of these sideways cards because they never really amount to much, you know? Footlight Fiend, all right. <clears throat> Footlight Fiend, not bad, I guess. Not bad, I guess. And the foliage. Not a double token in that one. Look at that, see that? They just opened right up. <clears throat> That's weird. Whoa, this one's damaged. Ooh, we got a nice, look at this. We got a sweet miscut. Oh my gosh, look at them, the last pack. Look at the damn, wow, I never seen one of these in person. I thought they were a joke or like they were a hoax. Get the point, look at that. Now that is cool, look at that. Get the point, wow. There's only one of them, but still. Front to back, like a machine just ate it. That is neat. Wow, I never saw one of those. Get the point, yeah, I get the point, Watsy. That is really neat, I've never saw that before. Really, really cool. Uh, I wish it would have been on a better card, because I guess there is a big market for those kind of cards. But it was not. The Drill Bits and Judith, the Scourge Diva. Basically to close things out here. Pretty neat. Wow, what a, what a fun experience opening these. That has been fun. We got a crimped car. That's what they're called, crimped. Crimped. That was my first crimped I ever opened from a box, ever. Really cool. Uh, hit the like button if you know if that's the first time you saw one of those opened uh, on camera before. I thought they were a hoax and people were just manufacturing them and printing them, whatever. But we saw it here on Bad Boy Gaming. Crimp card pulled from a pack. Pretty sweet. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. We'll see you later.